Coach Chris here with a video on how to roll and release our back. All right, we're going to do this in both on the ground as well as in a standing position for those of you that can't get on the ground. Now, to begin on the ground, we're going to start by rolling the side of our lower back. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find the bottom of our rib cage here. We're going to find the top of our pelvis. And I want you to put the roller between those two spaces. All right, now I'm just going to relax here and just let it sink in. I'm going to use this to make a point about rolling. Okay, so this roller is relatively hard. It's a black roller. Um, you also have white rollers that are going to be softer. You even have things like pool noodles that are super soft. You want to find the density that works for you, okay? Meaning, it, this should feel like for me, you know, this is not necessarily super comfortable, but I feel like it, you know, if I lay here long enough, I'll feel my muscle relax into it, and that's what I want. Like, I, it, it shouldn't be so hard that I feel like I'm being stabbed by a knife, okay? And if it is, your tissue or your, your, the muscles that we're rolling are not going to relax into it, and that's exactly what we want. We want to promote relaxation. That's the reason we do this. We're telling our body to let go of tension. We're not necessarily working out like trigger points or anything like that. We're, we're telling our body to relax, okay? So that's um, choose, the, choose the roller and the position that works for you. So same thing, like if on the ground this hurts a lot, then do it up on the wall. That would be a better position for you. But what I want you to do is we're just going to put this between our, um, the top of our rib and our, our pelvis here. And the first thing I'm going to do is breathe. I'm going to take a deep breath in. I'm going to relax. I'm just going to side bend over a little bit. Okay, doing that, I just feel it sink in a little bit, and I feel my tissue gradually relax over it. Okay, so this should not be super painful. Um, it shouldn't be like, <gasps> it should, you know, it should feel like I'm getting a light, you know, like a Swedish massage. So from here, um, I'm going to breathe in. I'm going to exhale and just kind of just rotate from side to side several times. Again, I'm just going to pause, take another deep breath in. Exhale, and just let this sink in. And I really like to do this breathing with rolling because, again, both of these things are telling my nervous system to let go of tension. So it makes sense to do them together. One more time. So in total, I want you to do that in that area for probably about a minute, maybe two, but not a long period of time. Especially if it is like super painful and we're using more focused implement like a ball or a um, uh, like a lacrosse or a tennis ball, then rolling can actually bruise us because it's creating stress on my body. Okay, so I just want to make note of that and just make sure that, you know, again, I'm using the right stuff um, and I'm relaxing the right stuff. So again, I'm going to come into this position, take a deep breath in, I'm going to relax over it, just let the roller sink in, deep breath in, I'm going to exhale. Just gonna rotate from side to side here. Another deep breath in. Exhale. Rotate from side to side. Letting the tension release here. One more time, deep breath in. Relax. And I release. And certainly, you know, we can kind of extend that by um, moving towards more the center of my low back. I don't want to roll my spine, obviously, but again, same thing, deep breath in. Just rolling and relaxing. Time, deep breath in. Exhale. Rolling and relaxing. So I can move to the other side, kind of knock that out real quick. You know, and already, after doing that for, you know, maybe 20 seconds in each position, I do feel a bit of a release, which is great. It's the same thing, kind of roll more to the inside of my lower back. And just working on those muscles, con consciously telling those muscles to let go. And so, and I'm right there with that. Now, for our upper back with the roller, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll up like this, okay? And, and from here, I'm just going to put my hands behind my lower back. <laughs> Sorry, behind my head. Now, and, and when I say put them behind my head, I'm not like clasping them and pulling my head forward. I'm just lightly like cupping my head. And at the same time, I'm thinking about taking, a, I'm taking a deep breath in. I'm exhaling, just 
letting my back drop while not letting my rib cage fly up. So kind of keeping a little tension in my abs, keeping my back kind of pressed down towards the ground a little bit, come back up. Exhale. Just let myself sink down and come back up one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale. Let myself sink down. You can move up a little bit more. Again, the same kind of rules apply here. Deep breath in. Just gonna exhale. Let myself drop down, get all the air out, come back up, deep breath in. Exhale. Get all the air out, look up. Last one, deep breath in. Exhale. Let all the air out, come up. I'm just going to find one more segment here between my shoulder blades, same thing, deep breath in. Exhale, look up. Deep breath in. Exhale, look up. Deep breath in, exhale and look up. Once I do that, I can also just kind of roll up and down a couple times and continuing to breathe. Kind of just release tension in those areas as well. Now the last area, last thing I'm going to show you on the floor here would be how to use a tennis ball to release kind of the right across your lower back. So oftentimes after we've been standing for a long period of time or sitting, this area across our whole lower back just gets super tight you know, and, and maybe even kind of painful. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come up against the wall here. I'm going to come in. I'm going to take this ball. And I'm going to come much closer so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to take my ball. I'm going to put it under the outside of my lower back. Okay, I'm going to maybe get a in a little bit more, but... Again, and I'm just going to let it sink in and just lay here and breathe. And here, I mean, I'm not doing anything. I'm just relaxing, letting it sink in. Just holding here for about maybe 30 to 60 seconds. Move it over a little bit. A little harder for you to see it here, but you get the idea. Breathing into it, I can put my hands kind of where the ball is too, give it a little bit of overpressure. I'm thinking about the ball just, or the hand just kind of like sinking into the ball. Just letting it sink in and release. And again, I'm moving across. The one thing that I don't want to do is actually roll my lower back. Like I'm not trying to roll my spine. So again, just breathing and releasing. Working across the lower back until I finish on the other side. And then just, again, obviously, spending more time in the area that is, you know, most painful or, te or tense. So in my next video, um, I'm going to show you how to roll, do the same stuff in a standing position.